So here we are, um, carrying on with the profound restoration of this kilt, and I'm re-sewing all the seams, having corrected the um, pleat widths at waist and hip, and re-sewing all these seams with silk thread. And I think now that's going to be my new standard, because it's um, A, not synthetic, and B, um, it, seem, it, seems to, uh, it seems to be easier, nicer to work with. Um, speaking of nice to work with, as I said, I'd been um, upset that I was going to have to disassemble this wonderful workmanship done by this previous person. But having, because I've not pressed the pleats flat, because my usual routine is to press all of the creases out of it and then chalk and sew up again. But I'm not doing so in this case because I, again, I... I can't get my head around how they laid out the pleats. It's it it's it's a valiant effort, and and the exterior works fine, but it kind of does my head in. So what I've done is instead of pressing it flat, I'm measuring from the existing hard crease, and so far it's working fine. There's there's minute variations. Some some elements are not completely centered, but the net effect is is nice. But the fact that I haven't pressed it means that the dimples from the previous person's sewing are still existing. And so I'm able to, thus far, touch wood, I'm able to recreate their wonderful workmanship by following it. It's almost, you could compare it to a, sort of a paint by numbers. I'm literally following the marks that they've left behind. And it's, and it's quite wonderful. It's slightly more than eight stitches per inch, per inch. It's about eight, let's say nine to 10 stitches per inch, but it's, um, it's a nice exercise for me. Now there's a bit of fullness, bagginess through the pleats here, which I'm, tiny bit concerned about, but I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic that I can deal with. I think that when I put in the canvas, which will extend down to here versus the tiny little strip before the full five inch width, that when I, when I herringbone stitch that into place, that it'll knock down some of this fullness. And then pressing it, I think, will knock it down a little bit more. But I, I think what this is, is this is the cloth having shaped itself to the, to the wearer's figure. So, um, yeah, again, I'm cautiously optimistic that'll work out. So I'm going to keep plugging away in these seams. It won't be much new to say until I get to shaping the aprons in, hopefully, by the end of today. It's it's a gorgeous day outside, and here am I crouched in my shop. So I may play a little bit, uh, I may be a bit truant and head outside for some fresh air at some point. But I'll keep plugging away on this and keep you posted. Cheers. <laughs>